Yeah, snuck back onto the egg. That is now officially her egg. While Betty's up there with his wife, she's going to get back in her spot. Guess I'll let him keep it for now. It'll be interesting to see how this develops. It's been a fascinating day in the loft today. I think I have made my decision about Jed. I am going to put him back in the hospital cage when I step out. I'll probably come back out later in the evening and give him some out time. He'll have most of the day out tomorrow while I'm cleaning. No, oh, I guess. There is a Gus on my head. A good girl. <clears throat> Oh, she's not actually sitting on it. She's sitting in her little nest cup over here. Good luck with that. She may end up just laying her own eggs next to it. Her husband is very confused. Or she may make herself a nest cup and just roll it in. I would normally have cut this off several videos ago, but I'm really curious. Oh, Vinny. <laughs> Betty and Rigby just blissed out in their favorite... Or, I'm sorry, Betty and Hagrid blissed out in their favorite nest box. She does want to roll it into her cup. She keeps trying, but her husband made too good a cup and she doesn't want to go sit over there. She likes to be in a corner. What are you doing, Vinny? Are you going to try and set the egg, too? Mm -hmm. Too close for Betty's comfort. Oh. Possibly trying to draw Betty out into a fight? Definitely trying to draw Betty out into a fight. Vinny is a lot bigger than Betty. And you can see the way he baits. He gets close, he baits a little, he dodges and runs away. But this entire time he's continuing to strut and woo. As far as Betty is concerned, his point has been made by driving him off. More stick. Wife might like stick. Would wife like stick? A gift. <laughs> Which she happily accepts. This is a good stick. So 
So it's actually a little bit unusual for the cock to nest at the same time as his wife. <laughs> Betty just especially loves Hagrid. Usually one sits and the other goes about their own business. Once she actually lays eggs, then he'll change guard with her. And speaking of eggs, Luxie has still not rolled it into her cup. That's just her cup. <laughs> and also speaking of nests, there's Bird Bird fussing in hers. She hasn't come out yet today, and it's not that she's stuck, she's just where she wants to be. She knows where water and food are, and she'll go get them when she wants them. Now that the new bird has arrived, hazing is over, everybody pretty much leaves her to do as she will. No. Betty has left. Looks like Hagrid may join him. Or she may not. We'll see. She's definitely broody. They've been trying all last week to fill eggs for her. So she may lay any day now. We'll mostly see by her behavior whether she's going to or not. Does she want out? Will Luxie actually pull that egg under herself? It doesn't look like she will. Okay. I will take a leaf out of Ants Canada's book. That's a wonderful channel, by the way. If you do not follow him, you really should. He does a full-on nature show thing with the ants that he keeps and cares for. And the termites, and the beetles, and the African gray, and the various and assorted reptile and amphibian pets. And it is amazing to watch. It's everything Animal Planet used to be that we used to love it for. And I'm going to take a leaf out of Mikey's book and ask for my subscribers' suggestions. Should I leave this egg in there with them? Or should I go ahead and take it for my housemate's rat kids? <laughs> little bird bird's turned around so that she can resettle her nest more to her liking. <laughs> bird bird seems to like a really deep nest cup way in the back of a narrow box. She's usually busily working with hers. Hello bird bird. I like, know I'm busy now. So, Bird Bird, according to her former owner, lays like a machine and pretty much, and is pretty much always broody. Oh, hello, Gus. Hello, Gus. What you doing? What you doing, good girl? I hear you, Bird Bird. While Bird Bird works, she is also grunting softly to be joined. I started talking a little bit about being about hens being sight mated. So for pigeons, uh, the hormones to, to kickstart egg production 
are not necessarily released in the act of sex. They are released by a sufficiently by the sufficiently strong bond. Hens, uh, what's called sight mated to a human caretaker, are stimulated to release eggs by the sight of their face and the sound of their voice. So I come out here and do these videos and talk every day and Bird Bird hears them. She hears me talking, sometimes she hears me mention her name. She can't see where my attention is pointed, but she can hear when my voice is going in her general direction. So as she's working here, occasionally you will hear her grunt. She is calling me to join her. Now, the other cocks do not know that she is calling me specifically. And on occasion, they have tried just to be driven off. Bird Bird likes these narrow boxes because they feel especially secure to her. She knows where all the walls are. She can turn around. I was a little bit concerned at first that she couldn't, but clearly she can. And there's the nesty dance. I don't know if you can see it from that angle. But you will occasionally see her kind of stand up and shuffle her feet. There she goes. A dancing. And the nesty dance gently kicks aside the straw away from the center of what she wants to be her nest cup. Bird Bird wants a good deep nest cut. Or er, cup. Pfft, sorry. Words today. That piece of straw is being particularly obnoxious. She doesn't like it. But she also keeps missing it. The downside to being blind. She otherwise functions very well. And she certainly gets to know a new area very quickly. And she's only been in here for a few days and now she entirely knows her way around. Yeah. Bird bird. There's the edge of her box. There's the edge of her nest cup. Oh no, that piece of straw is coming back up. What are you going to do with that piece of straw, Bird Bird? Right now she can't tell where it's coming from, so she can't stomp it down. And there is this Gus out here waiting to have all of my attention. She was actually standing here looking at me over her shoulder and did not start preening until I pointed the camera at her. Yes, Gus, you are a lovely little lady. She is molting out the, her ratty baby tail feathers and her clean shiny new ones are starting to come in. What a lovely little miss. What a lovely little fluff muffin. And Bird Bird has gotten that irritating straw out of her face. It's now curled up over her shoulder, and that she does not mind. I don't know if she can even feel that. It's not in her face, so she doesn't care anymore. There's the edge of her box, where she's pulling straw in. And she will fiddle with it until she thinks it's absolutely perfect. And here in a minute, if uh, everyone will let me scooch a little closer. <laughs> little bird bird butt. Oh, more dancing. And she's relaxed again. She may be done for the moment and just settling into being broody. Fiddle fiddle. <laughs> Just fiddling with the back. 
more nest dancing. And another squeeze and turn, maybe. Fiddling with the corner. And the squeeze will turn all the way out, bird, bird. More nest dancing. That hurts my back just looking at it, bird, bird. And mostly fiddle their way back around. Oh, bird, bird. How do you manage with your little butt mushed into the corner like that? Uh, she's fine. She's where she's content doing her favorite thing. What are you doing, Gus? Hagrid still hasn't left her box yet. She's just standing guard in front of it. And Luxie still hasn't pulled the egg under herself. fussing at your wife or are you just talking to her or are you trying to bait Betty back down Betty's up here napping oh and I appear to have a phone call I apologize let me answer 